<sighs> Fuck. It shouldn't be the one that scales up. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying is it's good that it does. But what I mean is that uh what I mean the DJI action cam scales up better than uh no not the DJI the the body cam the police Whew. I gotta get out of here I gotta get out of here sixty-three I think it'll make it if not I could probably charge it if I have to I'm gonna listen to a playlist With the quickness, the sun is on the rise. It's still a little bit of fog out there, which I think is going to look real nice for um, the uh, what? I don't know. Fuck. Going to downloads. Oh, what the hell? It's only showing one download. Oh, the downloads are all gone, huh? Hmm. Interesting. Let's go into playlist. And let's hit that and then let's go into Push Casa. Hitche, hitche. What the hell? Downloads. Oh, it should be in the downloads. You bastard. Let me see. Downloads. No, it's only showing the gospel. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's got a big blank. Look at that big old blank area. Don't make any sense. I don't know what that's about. One video is hidden. Oh, that's okay. Train of gold. Endless lies. Let's go right there. I can hear it coming in. All right. Nice. All right. Hmm. I'm going to let it charge for a couple minutes until I get the bike out. And it might build it back up. It's real fast. <sighs> Probably got a tire I have to put air in. Hmm. They're not, you know filled to where I want them, but I think I'll be able to handle it. Shit, this helmet is not that comfortable. Oh well. I mean, it's already after 7. Alright, alright. She want a train, train, train on go, a train out of gold. Boom, 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 boom. Oh man, you know, the last thing I want to do is shoot somebody. I hope my shot placement, if ever I have to, I, I pray I don't have to, but if I do. I won't have to kill someone or, or even maim them too bad, you know? I don't see how you can shoot someone without maiming them. Oh, it's, it's building up. Maybe a few minutes before I'm out of here. Oh, God. My back is always tight when I go to get started on this ride. Fucking sucks. You know, preferably you want the gun where you can grab it pretty easy, you know? Don't you? I mean, what the hell's the sense of having it? 
if you're not able to get it quickly. My one zipper on top. That's the one I'm going to put my phone in. But the um, the gun. You want the gun where you can you can grab it. Where you can grab it. Like, you want it to be safe. Safe carry. But you got to be able to grab it. I mean, I don't know. The way I've got this set up. I mean, uh, I, I'd be able to get it, but not like a quick draw. Where are we at here? It's already at 65. <sighs> well, yeah, everything seems okay. Good Lord. Where are we at with the sugar? Two fifty. Fuck. It's a bit high. I want to see where it is though when I come back. So I got this. Uh, you know, I bought a DJI um, Avada. I think it's called, and it's a drone that. I don't know, it's pretty slick. It's got a nice camera on it. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun to fly. Um, I've got a real nice drone that I've never flown. Um, I don't want to make the same mistake with the Savada. But I bought the other one right before we moved from Georgia. And everything got fucked up, you know, when we moved. I it just took me out of everything, you know. Huh. But the uh, thing is, we were paying taxes. And uh, fucking uh, all the expenses with this property. <sighs> so... Uh, you know, we had to. Look, there it is. Huh? There's the one I needed. I'll put it on there. Excellent, excellent. Not going out for a long ride. Gonna do maybe, I don't know. I guess, uh. Oh, hell, I don't know. I'm plucking a fucker. Why? Alright. Won't be long here. Be heading out. I like these mirrors, man. I didn't think I would like them, but I'll tell you what. They come in pretty damn handy. Because that uh, digital rear view mirror is really not that dependable. I mean, I don't like the mirrors. Mirrors. Having mirrors there. I'm gonna strap that bag on the back. Wherever this phone is, I'm going. I, I, I guess I got a couple more minutes. It's up to what, 66? I like 66. Do you know why? <sighs> because there are 66 books and letters. The canon, the Bible, the Holy Bible. That's why. Here. There are other, you know, books that just didn't make it into the canon. And God's in control of his words, so, you know, it wasn't an accident. Something in it that is dangerous. Some, something said that we don't need to uh, know about or you know something false something 
something like that. But uh, I'm gonna strap on my my uh, bear spray. Now you know this bear spray. It is so strong that if I were to use it uh, on someone, it could, you know it could kill them. Which I mean, I heard this. I I've never heard that from an official, like anything said. But someone said that to me. Someone, and of course, got me thinking. You know, sure as hell wouldn't want to kill somebody spraying them with this shit. Is that why I can't find it right now? Where the hell to go? Damn. Oh, God. Oh, shit. So, let's see. Don't know where it is. Can't find it. That's how it is, man, the way I'm living right now. Look at this. I'm fucking so disorganized. I mean, I have an idea where things are that I'm using every day fucking bear spray it's only been a few days a few days ago that I had it out and now I can't find it but ain't that a ain't that a fucking trip oh good lord yeah you know I mean if you're offended with the word fuck that's your problem. It's part of my idiom. And, uh, I don't know what to tell you. You have to deal with it. I mean, uh, I know that, uh, I just know the hypocrisy. You know, people. How they squirm at hearing the word fuck, you know, but yet there are tens of thousands of kids being fucking uh, maimed and murdered over in uh, Gaza, and uh, they won't even uh, give it attention, you know what I mean? They won't even acknowledge it's happening. I wonder if it's fucking fell. Oh, where the hell I... Okay, I guess I'm not going to have my spray. I usually like to bring it, man. I don't know, it's like having that... You just never fucking know, man. I'd rather fucking spray someone in the face. You know, or in the chest. And then would... With that fucking bear spray. Oh, fuck. You know what I mean? Then, uh... Oh. I have to fucking shoot them. Did I put it in here? Maybe? I know better. I didn't. Nah, I didn't. I gotta hurry, man. That sun is breaking through the fucking mist. And I don't think it's gonna get real hot, but it'll still just feel uncomfortable as hell. You know? Yeah. Anyway. Around you go. Alright. These straps, uh, what are they called? Goat. Twisted goat. They're freaking cool. They're real nice, man. You know, I start off with these type here. And, uh, the only problem with them, they get a pinhole in them. And, uh, they... You know, it ruins it. I mean, even if there's a pinhole in that rubber that's around the, uh, eh, fuck. This helmet's on my head so tight. God, is it uncomfortable. Shit. But, I have to live with it, man. I have to get out of here. I'm looking for that fucking, oh, hey, baby. Hey, honey, I got a question for you. 
No, I, I didn't have it on you. Can I ask you something? What? You seen my bear spray? No. If you haven't, it's cool. Did you remember seeing it? Baby? Honey? No. Huh? No. Okay. I'm out of here, girl. I'll see you in a little bit, okay? I love you. Huh? What? You're not taking any of these phones with you today. I got one phone. Oh, I got one phone with. Oh, no, did I, I didn't take it with me. No, there's phones right in here. Oh, hell. You're dressed? No, take turn it off. Wait a minute. I'll just keep it down on the ground. Oh. Here, I see. It's right here. Okay, what do we have here? 70. Fucking 70. Oh, yeah. You know what I thought I had uh Ooh Well 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 okay there we are. Okay. Well I can't find a fucking bear bear spray. I don't care for right now. Sure I'm not on that camera. Uh, on the camera? Yeah. No, no, no. What no, everything's fine. Guess what, baby? If I did have you, I'd cut it out, okay? I'll edit it. Don't you worry. Okay? All right? Okay. Yeah, but you should have stopped it and edited it right away. I love you. See in a little bit. You ain't on it, baby. Don't worry, okay? See in a little bit, honey. Right. Shut the door. I'm going to put that in the front. I think I did get her on a camera. I didn't want to tell her that she'd be freaking out. You know. But I think I did accidentally. Didn't realize that she was standing there. But, uh, of course, I'll, uh, I'll fucking... Respect her. Not, uh, you know. <sighs> you think about how you know uh, the uh, monster nation state of Israel, the evil regime, how they're handling uh, prisoners of war. Prisoners, they're not prisoners of war. They're fucking people that they have. Uh, that they have um, taken hostage and uh, they have them fucking stripped down hey 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 what's up how you doing cats <laughs> they have them uh, stripped down fucking uh, you know nude uh, and kneeling kneeling Fucking kneeling. Um, like, you know, like that fucking movie uh, with uh, how, what the fuck was the name of that warped, disgusting fucking movie where you had, uh, was this one? People that were stuck together, you know, a fucking warped doctor, surgeon, had uh, sewn people together. I forget the name of it. Not really something I want to reflect on. I forget the name of it though. That would help. Cause I don't know the name of it. Hey, don't know the name of it, man. Um. Anyway, what am I saying? <sighs> Can you believe that, though? They have taken. I heard like nine thousand, without exaggeration. Um. 
9,000 men that they uh, have uh, taken hostage. And they're talking about having like a, a, a couple dozen hostages that they're insisting upon their release and the nation state of Israel is uh hey buddy they have like 10,000 hostages Palestinians <coughs> that they fucking torture um there are reports from people that have endured being in those uh, being in those prisons where the, where these people you know are held captive they said that that many of them have fucking uh, scabies and uh, they don't treat them for the scabies they uh, they uh, that's part of the fucking torture. Imagine that. How can our... How can our leadership... Our nation support... That fucking monster? How can you not... How can... How can anyone make mention of them without using an expletive the nation state of Israel how can anyone even talk about them without using you know language appropriate for them I don't know I don't know I can't I don't know how anyone does it Gotta take this at a fucking angle. I wouldn't want to hit this wrong. Whew. That would be disastrous. I'm looking back behind me in the camera, and the sun is looking kind of cool. Coming through the breaking through the clouds, how it's burning through. This helmet is so uncomfortable. I'm gonna go ahead and just turn and see. How neat that is if it's something I should go ahead and maybe I should make this oh my fucking tires are pretty low but I think I'd rather have them low today though have more control you know I don't really give a shit about the speed Not really. That's kind of cool, man. Going into it this way and seeing that sun, you know, breaking through the fog. Oh, good Lord. Yeah. It's horrifying to think that representatives like fucking Senator Lindsey Graham that he would I think he's a ranking member uh, I don't, you know there's other sen senators that are got more uh, what do they call it tenure whatever the fuck But a committee on child, line, child online safety and that fucking weasel fucking devil used that as an auspice, as catalyst to intimidate 
every social media platform into uh, subjugation. Uh, subjugation, capitulation, control, total control of what, whatever is said or seen, shown in negative about the nation state of Israel. So within the, there's a bill that our Senate fucking, uh, I don't know who authored it, what senators, but it must be something that decimates any fucking real freedom of press, freedom of like public information. I'm talking about atrocities now that are being committed by the nation state of Israel. You should, see, you should see the uh, Senate hearing on child online safety the 31st of January 2023. You can go ahead and find it archived on C-SPAN. Listen to it. What you'll discover is that uh, what you'll discover is that uh, They have all these CEOs from like, you know, they've got Mark Zuckerberg there and the TikTok, a TikTok CEO and probably YouTube's there and they're all there. They got someone representing them, but Mark Zuckerberg was there personally. And there Lindsey Graham is, he's grilling him about what is a fucking bullshit. You know, what I'm saying by bullshit. He's acting like he's concerned about our kids. And then he, then he just says the real reason about the whole, the whole, you know, what is the nut of it all. And uh, then he, when he, is finished with his what is like the denouement of it all he you know gives the mic over to uh, what what I think is a you know a lobbyist for the nation state of Israel certainly an allegiant and she's fucking grinning because and you know, like to thank him for being such a fucking traitor to our nation that he would do that for the nation state of Israel. You know, how amazed I was to witness that. You can too. I don't know if you'll tell yourself something else seeing it you know because out of cowardice it's so fucking stark it's so <coughs> diabolical <coughs> that you won't want to face the reality of what it was that our representatives have done to this nation for the sake of that murderous fucking regime that Netanyahu is fucking running. But I hate to tell you, it's not just Lindsey Graham, I mean, it's not just Netanyahu. I 
a majority of our representatives, our allegiance, traitorously so, to the nation state of Israel. When I say nation state, Other people would say Zionist. For me, nation state. That's all that has to be said. Meaning a secular entity, not a spiritual nation. What you see with the nation state of Israel is what a godless nation is and how cruel they're treating despic despicably, disgustingly what they're doing to those defenseless peoples of Palestine. Do you know they've been... The reason why there's tunnels that the Palestinians have fucking dug underneath it all is because everything they do is, is, is fucking uh, monitored by that fucking evil regime. <laughs> they got cameras fucking everywhere, they're watching them on fucking satellite, they got I've heard some of the best fucking intelligence you know, in the world they get to gather information when you when you treat people the way that they have treated the Palestinians you have to fucking really defend because they treat them so uh, offensively, so, so bad that you see, that's why you see them with fucking, like, l slings, fucking rock slings. You know, throwing fucking rocks at the uh, IDF. IDF. You see that because of how bad they treat those people. I don't know if you could be a Palestinian and not be touched by the fucking maim and murder that the uh, nation state of Israel has committed upon that people. I don't know, probably there isn't anyone that lives there that isn't touched by, you know, miss, ha, you know have friends or family, loved ones that have been fucking uh, not just mistreated, but fucking tortured, maimed. How? Why? Why? Well, it's simple. I mean, you wouldn't think... You wouldn't think it's, uh... As simple... As it is. The reason why. But... It's the, uh... Simple fact... Of how those people were treated. Man, in their heart of hearts, you know, they believe and they want to believe that everywhere they put their foot, you know, God's going to give it to them. But they lost that. They lost that. The promises.
or through the everlasting covenant. <laughs> That's what it is, man. And it's not a physical circumcision, it's circumcision of the heart. The teachings of Christ. Even the most aggressive um, the zealot, you know, in Judaism, they can't dispute the teachings of Christ. <laughs> they can't. There's not one teaching of Christ that they. I'm talking about teachings of the way. Um, the way we should live, the way we should treat one another, what our relationship should be with God, Yahweh. You know, you'll hear, once in a while you hear a zealot of Judaism denying Christ. And if you hear one of them, wow, it's really sad. You know, a true disciple of Jesus, Yeshua of Nazareth, risen, exalted, glorified. There is no, um, ever any haughtiness about, you know, being saved and someone else not. Uh, there's deep remorse, remorse, sadness. I mean, anyone that is a, is a work in Christ is going to feel sorry for anyone that's so deceived. The time that uh, that though it. it, it when the line is crossed is when those that deny, that defy God, yeah, and speaking evil about the Son of God and, and Yah's gift of salvation by Him, when they are poisoning, poisoning, those that are without knowledge <sighs> poisoning them with their lies well if you can you do your best to get a word in for sure say whatever you can and uh, hopefully you're in a position where your deeds are aligned with what you're what you're speaking and if there is any hypocrisy just uh, make sure that you make that known you see I am a work in Christ you know I, Renew, renewing of one's mind is not something that's overnight. <sighs> Depending how much you are in the world, too, can be really quite a work, quite a miracle in Christ to renew one's mind. We're talking about changing, becoming a new creature in Christ. 
and uh even the most disgusting you think upon something someone's done there's only one unforgivable sin <sighs> only one only one should I leave it a mystery? no I won't that's uh, blasphemy of the Holy Spirit you see the Holy Spirit was with and dwelled Yeshua who we know is Jesus the Lord Jesus Ahadonai Yeshua the Messiah Mashiach and uh, anyone that would say that the miracles of Yah through the Holy Spirit by Jesus you know what I'm saying but he was indwelled with the Holy Spirit anyone that would say that they that those miracles were of any other than by the Holy Spirit in Jesus's close relationship with the Most High God That is an unforgivable sin. Like if someone would say, in context, where it is in the Bible, you'll see that someone says, oh, those miracles, he's not doing those by God. He's doing them by any names, the devil even. That's blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. That's, there's context with what Jesus says. So, it's kind of scary. You know, when you know that, it's, it's frightening. You know, it should be. So, There are probably a lot of zealots of Juda Judaism that I, I've heard it blasphemy the Holy Spirit, and uh, well, when you hear that, it's just whew, it's like wow. Are you Yeah. You know the this deception I think is uh something like the great falling away. And what I mean by that is believing that that nation state of Israel is who you know, uh, we're supposed to be blessing. That's the deception. Well, God makes it pretty clear. All you have to do is watch the news coming out of the Middle East, out of Palestine, to see the fruits of the nation state of Israel. That's certainly not God's chosen. And God is nowhere, nowhere with them, near them. It's only by the prayers of the deceived in Christ that that nation state of Israel even exists. Yes, power is given to you know those that are that receive the Holy Spirit in Christ and it can be misused you can uh, bless someone that shouldn't have been blessed you can be deceived and support 
someone that should you should not give them any support why would you support someone that's committing maim and murder of defenseless civilians women children I don't give a shit men elderly folks committing infanticide how could you in Jesus' name, his name means Yah is my salvation. That's what Yeshua means. The name God is my salvation. How could you, in Jesus' name, bless someone in the action of maim and murder of defenseless civilians? It's so bad whew, that I I don't want any, any association with anyone like that. Ugh. Oh fuck! Fuck! Hope that wasn't poison ivy. Some fucking idiot. Hope it ain't fucking that sumac or poison ivy on fire. So many fucking idiots. So many fucking people. It's fucking disgusting. Motherfuckers. You can't even go for a goddamn bike ride. People are so goddamn inconsiderate, man. Chris, man. It's like there's so many people that just don't give a fuck about anyone but themselves, man. I hear them. Somebody. Oh. That's a fucking train over there. There's nothing nostalgic about a fucking train to me anymore. Nothing. You know? Disgusting. Well, God damn. Yeah. Those people in East Palestine. <coughs> you know? Those people in East Palestine. Not one of them could even say Pennsylvania when they know that none of that fucking shit from that derailment went into their town. 
not one of them could say, what about Pennsylvania? Wow, all that shit went over there. They were all fucking concerned holding on to their fucking selfish fucking thought. You know, we might get some money out of this shit. It's true. It was palpable for me to know that they were, none of them were going to open their fucking mouth, nor did they to say anything when they were evacuated and Pennsylvanians who got all that fucking millions of pounds, millions of pounds of carcinogenic industrial chemical dumped all through here, folks. All through, all this, everywhere I've been on this ride. On into fucking Lawrence County, down all the way to El Equipa and Beaver County. <sighs> into Allegheny County. <sighs> Those people in East Palestine, <sighs> it's human nature, man. Except I don't think. I would have fucking done it. Doesn't mean I'm any better than them. Just means that I wouldn't have fucking done that. I wouldn't have kept my mouth shut. I'd been screaming for Pennsylvanians if I lived in East Palestine and everyone saying that I got fucking, you know, all the contamination when none of it fucking blew west, or west into East Palestine from the derailment site on the Pennsylvania border. None of it. There's a complete record of satellite, fucking radar, video, photos, it's all. The only time we're going to see blow, blowing towards unity, maybe, towards that way was that Sunday afternoon. It was like east and then northeast. When I saw it initially from Chippewa. It was blown direct east. Then when I got up there on the bridge, I could see that the winds were kicking to the north a little bit. That was it. So Unity got it. Unity got a dose. But not East Palestine. No, no. But Norfolk Southern. And when I say associates, I'm talking about the corporations that they haul chemicals for. And whatever, whatever uh, corporate institutions, even fucking colleges, like there was a fucking uh, professor at Carnegie Mellon University who saw my video and he was working for Norfolk Southern to try to disparage my video. He never looked at any of the fucking, uh, or he did and lied. But he's like, you know, it's hard to say if you'd see my videos, even without knowing that there wasn't a natural cloud there, that that was all fucking chemical clouds. You'd know, because they were really fucking very different in the way they were formed and the way that there was like a tube there's one point where you have one part you can see you know where the, the it got heavy and you know in a big one of the big clouds that was that the from the uh, massive dispersal disposal illegal dispersal disposal you can see where it's falling out of the cloud to the ground it looks like, well, that's what it looks like. You know, you could say it looks like a tornado. Some of them do, except they're not turning under or anything. They're just falling from the sky. You know, ma the mass of the weight, a hazard uh, material specialist, Sil Sagano, chief. He's a chief for a fire department in Youngstown. He said that on Channel 27, 
the night before Norfolk Southern illegally disposed of everything on the site. He said that the chemicals involved, they have a tendency, properties that cause, they attract water molecules, like, and then drop, he said, fall out. When they're fuck. Doesn't matter how many times I say it. Coming from me don't mean too much. You get somebody it's an authority. Like a Senator Doug Mastriano who says there were five containers. And he positions that for Norfolk Southern to then base the extent of their silence settlements, silencing settlements. And they go with five containers instead of what, over 30. Yeah. Pride keeps us from giving, you know, an average citizen credence. <laughs> and the people that are given credence, like I was talking about that professor from Carnegie Mellon, who Norfolk Southern used to try to fucking cast uh, doubt on what I captured. That fucking piece of garbage human being that did that. Is who people will listen to because of his fucking credentials. Just a nefarious fucking monster. That's synonymous, but. Yep, he was nice, huh? Fucking A. Guy behind him was a kind of a fucking heel. Oh well. Yeah, this screen on this camera for the back, too small. Yep, too small. Another fucking turd.
wonder. I don't know that road. No, I mean, I may have been on it before, I just don't remember. <sighs> Many years ago. I really like gardening, but uh, I still don't trust the fucking soil. I don't have any water anyway. I was using a spring, you know, hauling water in. My well. It couldn't handle that, you know, water in a garden. And anyway, I don't know what's in the well or the spring. That's why I don't do it. You know, the aquifer off of Route 51, in between Route 51 and Candleton, it got really coated, man. Nothing's ever mentioned about that. The only public, you know, spring in the area. How many other springs did that fucking fallout contaminate? Nobody would say anything about Pennsylvania. I mean, that way there wasn't anyone over here you know, like, it should, the authorities should have had, the EPA should have been over here, you know, with teams, getting samples from everywhere that the fallout was dragging on the ground anyway. Everybody stalled, man, for the corporations. It sure does look that way. Yeah, there's a complicitness, you know, it probably runs all the way, hate to say, I wish it weren't true, I mean, Ohio, the Ohio Republicans, they're the ones that firsthand worked with Norfolk Southern and their associate corporations to position it all in East Palestine where it never was and to hide it from Pennsylvanians where it all was. So everyone, every one of those authorities that are complicit in that, they should be in jail. You just have to know that that's the way it should be. the way it should be there is a way that it should be as it is for everyone it wasn't an accident hiding it from Pennsylvanians was certainly not an accident and how many are complicit in that you know how many how many how many Tell you what, I think I'm gonna turn back right now. Tell you why. I have some other shit I have to do today. Whew, man.
Yeah. What's sad about it all, I mean even more so, is that every authority that is apprised, is that the word? And they do nothing, then they are complicit. Every authority who lets it go, who doesn't say anything, then they join with all those that are complicit because they have a responsibility to say something every one of them <laughs> and that goes for the local you know uh, uh, attorney general <laughs> everyone the police officers the firemen all of them and it shows just how much cowardice there truly is oh my god yeah I never thought I would be a fucking mirror to it all you know to see how stark you know the cowardice is I never thought never thought never would have ever thought this almighty I thought something along those lines like but not this I don't know yep You know, every one of those firemen know what happened. And none of them will come out and tell. Will testify. You know, the night that I captured the, the fallout in Beaver County, there was at least one police officer there at that intersection of 168 and 51. They had a responsibility in their authority to fucking sound the alarm. And I guess they tell themselves otherwise. But I don't know how you'd live with yourself. Yeah. Think of it that way. Well, that's the way it is. Listen, if what I if I, if, if everything that I, I've said wasn't true. Don't you think that I'd have been called out for it? Do you understand what I'm saying? Nobody can nobody can dispute it. It's irrefutable. So instead of them fucking uh, mustering the courage to say, yeah, you know what? He's right. And they go to, they go to the uh, Department of Justice you know, the DOJ or... They go to our Attorney General. Local and state and federal. Instead of them doing that, they feign, 
ignorance or powerlessness, but it's cowardice. So it is. And then you'll hear them. Like, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Governor Shapiro, but when they were touting you as an advocate and for people and that you fought for against corporations and how you handled this whole situation. It's probably why you weren't chosen because for a VP, I tried to tell you, I championed you and you refused to uh, do what you needed to do. What you were given that office for, you refused to do it. Instead, I hate to tell you, you know, I really do, but you used it, the opportunity as a litmus test to show the corporations that you give them impunity, leniency, at the expense of thousands of people that you're sworn to protect. Sworn, sir, under oath to protect. And you sold thousands of people out who were dosed to whatever degree with carcinogenic industrial chemicals from Norfolk Southern and Associates. And you knew it, sir. Because I made sure you knew it. To give you the opportunity to do the right thing. I didn't I didn't come at you hostile. I came at you with love. I wanted you to do the right thing. I wanted you to grasp that opportunity before God and really see what it is. When God you can say Hashem all day long, buddy. But all over the world, you hear hallelujah. Praise be to you, Yah. The short for form of God's name, Yah. So, Hashem gave you an opportunity in Jesus' name. Because that's, that's where it came from, buddy. It came in, in the name of, of the Christ. The Son of God, the risen Lord. It came in His name. You were given that opportunity. And you didn't take it. You chose some other way you thought maybe, I don't know what the hell you thought. But you were given that opportunity. You were given everything, sir. You were given a witness, a witness, sir that so few people ever, ever, ever have. If anything comes out of it, maybe you'll reflect on it and know. You didn't get that witness from anywhere else. You never have. There's nothing that parallels what you were given in Jesus' name, that opportunity. Nothing, sir. That was, that was yours. Yeah, I was making that available for you. Completely. You would have really Sir, you probably would be the next president. If you'd have done that, they would have nominated you. You would have been undeniable. Corporations, they'd be really leery of you. Hell you probably have to have a lot more people beefed up, you know, loyal folks around you to protect you. But, ultimately, I believe if you would have done that, Yah would have protected you in Jesus' name. So, whatever you needed, you'd have probably been given. There he is! There he is! There he is! There they are! Hello!
face. They're like, no one's going to deny me of my job. This is my license to bark. And I want to get vocal today. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. I mean, even Senator Doug Mastriano. I contacted and gave him everything. He had an opportunity to do the right thing. And he decided to carry that narrative for fucking Norfolk Southern and Associates. It is very political because it was it was it was Republican Republican authorities leadership in Ohio that ha, that were given just jurisdiction they never never should have had it I, I don't think our federal government knew knew they didn't know that it was right on the Pennsylvania border and that the winds were all how could they all easterly yeah I do believe they were fooled. Their reaction time, though, was, I'll tell you what, what it, what it seemed to me, in all honesty, is that at that time, Russia was watching. They got, they have all, they have access to all that information. They knew where the winds went. They saw that. They watched how it was handled. And I, this is really disturbing, but... I think the reason why our federal response was so slow was on purpose so that it would show Russia, you know, uh, what would be a Machiavellian strength. Does that make sense? More than that. What example? Like, like our government, like our nation staying in Vietnam and showing, you know, China, showing Russia that our government showed them that they had to resolve that even if they were. Even if it was, they, they were losing the battle, they would stay in. Even if it meant whatever, how many soldiers, you know, Marines, soldiers, how many sailors, airmen were maimed or killed, how many people, how many civilians were killed, that we'd stay in the fight. So, our, you know, by doing that, you know, our federal government not stepping in, that also sent a message to Russia and to China, to every nation out there. I mean, you know, everyone. I'm sure they saw, wow, they let, that, they let those people, their own citizens get fucking contaminated. They didn't do anything. Oh, that sounds so outlandish, huh? And for you all that are monitoring me, it doesn't sound that doesn't sound that outlandish, does it? Right, you know. Nah. You know it doesn't sound outlandish at all. That's the way it was. Um, that's what I discerned at the time and I didn't want to face it you know I'm not saying that that was was the motivation like but it it was used that way too that's what I mean believe me there were hawkish elements within our leadership that were thinking that and might have voiced it too. <sighs> 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 
sure thousands of people left oblivious that sends quite a signal you know to the world whoever was in a no they see that they're like wow those are fucking those that's a fucking cold blooded fucking that that's a a real martial mentality that they'd sacrifice those people and that they would show us that they would do that by not doing anything I mean I felt that <sighs> yeah it's true it's not the entirety of the motivation it's part of it <coughs> Part of it. That's fucking Norfolk Southern. Yeah. Are any of them any different? There we go. Got the smallest sprocket. I can take my time up this hill. Whew. Firewood, 25. Firewood on the honor system. There's a place in Chewton where a bee farmer, honey, I mean a honey farmer, beekeeper, They have that kind of a setup. You can get a jar of honey and it's left up to your integrity or your honor to put the money in a container they have there. It's the way people used to live. And they still do some. Even if they ri run the risk. Whew. See, that guy took a chance for me. I don't want anybody to get hit. This will really. Get your heart beat going. That's why I took the pre-workout. L-arginine, L-citrulline. I mean, just citrulline. Something to help open up my blood vessels a little bit. Expand them. Get more blood flow. Hope it, hope it works. Huh.
he was kind of nice, you know. Yeah, that was nice of him, man. You know, I appreciate that, buddy. Thank you. You know... Yep. Fucking Trump. Poor... So sad, these people put their fucking hope in... Someone that was so willing to just sacrifice whoever the fuck it was to get in a second term last, you know, time, you know, by handing the autonomy to the, the states, his lackey governors from Republican strongholds, you know, Trump Republicans that opened everything up to community spread with COVID, <laughs> try to kickstart the economy to, uh, To resuscitate, you know, the economy, his platform of prosperity. God, what a monster. Anybody that lived through that time, man, if you don't know what happened, what was going on, it was a willful ignorance on your part. It was so blatant. I mean, that's, it shouldn't surprise anyone that knows about what happened, you know, with the Norfolk Southern uh, illegal disposal of millions of pounds of carcinogenic industrial chemicals, you know, last uh, February 2023. You know, when they see, you know, the way he handled COVID. If you were paying attention, and you know, I I wouldn't have seen this in Jesus' name without the living God. But I recognized that when he was bullying China into new like trade parameters that would cripple their economy that you know them releasing you know a, a engine an engineered pathogen that they could measure I mean it's something that was pretty sophisticated a pathogen that that they had a pretty good idea. I mean, really sophisticated pathogen. They knew who it was going to hit and... Do you understand what I'm talking about? It wasn't so virulent that... It was just virulent enough to lock things down, you know? in a pandemic situation. The way that China was like exaggerating their response, you know, it was so obvious that it was all purposely done in response to what Trump did. His impetuous, you know, uh, impetuous stand, you know, in, in uh, forging new trade uh, agreements in what, you know, is, was, is a trade war, you know, and uh, 
people can reason with, you know, Trump says China, you know, China. He knows that it was China. China fucking released it. He knows, but you, you can reason with that, right? You can reason with all that, but you can't reason with what I just said about the reason why. You know, you, it makes sense when Trump says China, but the moment that you know you give the reason why they did it, people fucking ignore that. No. Well, why the fuck else do you think they released it? That's why. No one will even talk about it, man. He doesn't talk about it anymore because he knows. His advisors, he might be too fucking uh, arrogant uh, and fucking uh, full of himself to not realize it. You know, he don't give a, what the fuck. But his people around him are telling him, don't talk about it. Because the more you talk about it, You know, what I've said about it, I have posted on, to where, I've posted it so that um, his team, they've seen, they've seen it, they know that if there's one person out there that has that thought, that knows it, they better fucking watch talking about it. Because it could be, the whole thing could fucking open up and just destroy them. But no one has the courage. The courage. It take, and I'm not saying that I'm courageous. I don't know. Maybe I'm just. Maybe I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> so stupid to say something. Maybe I'm a lone voice. But in Jesus' name. Um, excoriating that is not uh, something that uh, is um, oh god that doesn't meet with Yah's dissatisfaction you understand what I'm trying to say And Jesus said that everything would be known, that there wouldn't be any secret, you know, that would be, you know, kept like such evil, that everything would be made light of. That's prophecy being fulfilled. Um, so to a certain extent, understanding that, when I said, when I have said what I have you know I mean I've been shut down a couple times for for uh, mentioning what I just did but all you have to do is spend a little time you can google everything find the truth if you want it you can see how Trump acted what he said what he did how he bullied China into trade parameters that if they came to fruition for what Trump was planning it really hurt China's economy as it stands now I don't think China has the growth that it did a lot of it has to do with 
trade. Um, if you examine what has happened, you'll see how COVID helped China in regard to the trade war. If you look into it, you'll recognize it as a retaliation. Retaliatory. You'll see it. You write a book about it. If you have the credentials, could be a bestseller. If you got the credentials, I don't know how you publish it. Unfortunately. It's a scary truth. Scary truths. A lot of them. The world system, the system, systems. A lot of scary things. things people do they're just unspeakable or nobody wants to talk about them at all even with so many people I have to wonder I mean I don't know about everyone that buried their head in a stream in East Palestine and ignored all the evidence of where the contamination really was or is but when you see someone running for office or being a fucking speaker at a political convention or being not being a put on the ticket with Trump like Vance was is for the VP pick now Vance will tout that he was such an advocate of those injured by Norfolk Southern's dispersal disposal or he doesn't ever say that all he did was bury his head in the stream in East Palestine that's all fucking Vance did he's a crooked motherfucker He's fucking crooked as they come. I don't care. That's another one of those people that pro proclaim Christ. He proclaims, you know, Jesus, Yeshua, as Lord. And then he does something as corrupt as obfuscating the truth drawing attention with his authority in office as a public servant sworn you know to protect to represent his constituents well I guess he was in a way I mean he got people you know uh, he helped to get people uh, money that weren't even contaminated. They were evacuated. That never w was any of that shit blown on top of them. You know, from the derailment fires all the way through the massive illegal dispersal disposal. He got the money. So I guess he was representing them. It's just he was fucking over thousands of people in Pennsylvania. Really, he's an enemy. A domestic 
terrorist. If you want to really be honest about it, he's complicit in the obfuscation and covering up of what was done. And that resulted in injury to thousands of people. He is an enemy of our to our nation. I, you know, our governor, not our governor, I don't wanna he um what he has done I can't even compare to what you know DeWine did. DeWine he I mean, he falsely declared a state of emergency. He traitorously activated our military to guard what was a preparation for an illegal activity like dispersing of everything that was left on that derailment site. He used our military to stay in his guard. He's a... He should be in jail. Boy, this stink over here. God, that stink. I don't know what the fuck that is. It's horrible. God, it must be that fucking truck there. Sewage. Wow, it's a fucking stink. Whew. Oh, God, here we go. Oh, my. It's tough. Oh, it's tough to get my foot over because of my fucking hip. <sighs> Boy, that shit stink. Come on, that fucking thing. I hate living here, man. I fucking hate it, man. <sighs> I'm going inside. I don't even want to fucking stomach this place out here. I hate this fucking town. I gotta get the fuck out of here. I don't know how. I'm gonna take money. God, fucking. I hate this fucking place. I fucking hate it. Fucking people here. So inconsiderate. Fucking. Boy, this smell like shit out there. Fucking stinks. So grateful I got something at least to come in the fucking house. I hate this place. Oh, and my wife went to get her hair done. Ten to nine. Holy shit. Fuck. Oh, boy. Oh, God. That was pretty good, man. Oh. Whew. This thing got all twisted. Out here, fucking crooked sight picture. Oh well. <sighs> Fuck. Well, if I could do that and swim every day, both activities, watch my diet, who knows? Might be able to get this fucking weight off. I don't know. I don't know. God almighty. Horrible. Okay. I don't even know how long I was out there. True. I don't even know. Wow, it's fucking blue. I wouldn't know it. But it really was, man. I said just 70 minutes. That ain't shit. That ain't shit, man.